Mets' top pick in the 2012 MLB draft, Gavin Cicchini. He's been on fire for the B Mets in his past five games. He's hitting 650 with a slugging percentage of 750. And a short time ago, Cicchini joined me from Binghamton, and I asked him what the biggest improvement is that he has made at the plate so far this season. For me, it's just um, really focusing on uh, getting a good pitch to hit and, and shrinking the strike zone. You know, um, early in you know in my career or whenever I got drafted, should I say, you know, I kind of, you know, my zone was a little big and I was, you know, swinging at you know all areas of the plate. Whereas you know now I'm just kind of keying in on, you know, a, a zone and a pitch that I want to hit and uh, you know just swinging at my pitch and pitches that I can drive and um, if I don't get that then I just uh, hand the torch off to the next guy. Gavin what have you found the biggest challenge to be going from single A to double A? I wouldn't say a challenge I would I would say as far as I mean there's all aspects and areas of the game that you know that get better as you move up um, but as far as you know if, if I were to say like pitching um, you know, the pitchers have more command of their pitches and they can throw um, different pitches, not only just the fastball, but, you know, all speed pitches also in, in counts that are hitters counts. You know, there's added pressure when you're a, when you're a number one pick. So how have you handled that pressure to this point? You know, you just it's still I still got to be me, you know, whether, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm a first first pick or the last pick um, you know I'm still going to have my same routine you know I'm still going to be Gavin Cicchini and uh, I'm still going to uh, you know go go to the field every day and, and bust my butt to get better and, and to help the team win so regardless of where I'm picked you know I'm still going to be myself. Your brother is in AAA in the Red Sox organization what sort of an impact has he had on your career? He's had a huge impact um, because, uh, you know, everywhere that I've played, he's played in that same league, whether it's the New York Penn League, the Sally League, here in the Eastern League. He's played in all those leagues, you know, uh, a year or two ahead of me. So um, just kind of picking his brain and um, seeing, you know, how he approached things, learning from his mistakes, um, you know, he's been, he's been a huge help. Every player wants to move up and get to the show as quickly as they can. But what about moving up and being patient? How, how do you deal with that? One thing that I've had to learn uh, is, you know, some things you just can't control. And I, I just try to control the things that I can control. Um, you know, and one thing that you can't control definitely is whether you're getting moved up or not. You know, the only thing that I can control is to come out here every single day and, and, and to get better. And, uh, and to play hard and help my team win. You know, and as long as I'm doing that, I have no regrets. We know life in the minor leagues is far different than life in the big leagues. What have you found the hardest part of life in the minors? It's bus rides, uh, long bus rides, time without being with your family. Both my parents are school teachers, um, and they're also coaches in the summer, so I really don't get to see them too much. Um, you know, also, like I said, and as you know, my brother's playing with Boston. I don't get to see him at all during the season. Uh, so, um, you know, those two things, definitely, you know, long bus rides in the middle of the night, um, getting in at 3, 4 in the morning, you know, having to wake up, you know, sometimes for an early game after getting in at 3, 4 in the morning. So those those two big things are, you know, are, are definitely um, tough. How much do you pay attention to what's going on up with the major league club? I, yeah, I, I definitely, you know, pay attention to how they're doing. Um, I, I, I don't think so much of how, like, the players are doing, but as a team as a whole, you know, how, if they're winning games or not, you know, they're always on TV and inside the clubhouse here every day. So uh, definitely, um, you know, to, to pay attention to how the team's doing and they're doing great this year, you know, it's really exciting. It is Gavin Cicchini joining us from Binghamton. Gavin, thanks for a few minutes and, and all the best. Yeah, thank you. I appreciate it.